me back. I'm gonna try to win an NBA championship without proposing a single trade. Normal video, pretty simple. You got Shea Gilgis Alexander, I got the assets, let's make an exchange. Well, I can't do that. I can't call up Sam Presti. I gotta wait for him to call me up. And if you played any 2K over the last couple years, typically opposing GMs are not offering their star players. It's just not the way it works. Now, this is different than an accepting every trade challenge because, well, I can tell him Sam Presti to get off my line. What are you calling me for him for? He's not available. And the only other things we can do is re-sign the players that were already on our team and draft. That's it. Leave a like, subscribe, let's do it. Shout out to Amazon Prime Video for sponsoring this video. Hit the link in the description to watch Giannis, The Marvelous Journey. People might say I'm one of the best players in the NBA right now, but I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't see it, I don't, I don't feel it. I don't play basketball for the, the money and the fame. I only play to change my family's life. He's changing that perception of what immigrants can do. This is a 100% watch if you are an NBA fan. I love when athletes are, are super candid and that's exactly what you get from Giannis and his family. From his start in Greece to now him being a two-time NBA MVP in Milwaukee, you get the full story. So I recommend completely locking in because this is a version of Giannis we have never really seen. So shout out to Amazon Prime Video. Hit the link in the description and watch Giannis The Marvelous Journey right now. Now this is a challenge where I need some really, 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 really good luck. Because if we start off with a star, we are set. We're running with the Brooklyn Nets. Lord knows the Brooklyn Nets can need some help. The Nets are going to have the ninth pick. We will be having a star. I don't know who that star was. Did I just read Steph Curry? It might be Steph Curry. If it ain't Steph Curry, it's somebody close. And I think that's an absolute win. I think we already start. If you already start off with a star, that is half of the battle. Because getting a star, if we didn't draft one, it was basically like, hope you get the first overall pick in a generational talent and then you wait three years for him to become a 90. Like, that's all you can really do because... Teams, again, aren't just going to offer you their best player. You just have to make it work. All right. So our Brooklyn Nets, please tell me we got something nice. Is Devin Booker. Okay. Devin Booker, Mikael Bridges, Mark Williams, Kyle Kuzma, Alice Caruso, jo Isaiah Joe, Precious and Chua. Okay. Not too shabby. All right. So I think the first order of business is to create a trading block, right? Um, I'm going to say my first round pick is available this year. And my next year's first. Wait, what is happening? My next year's first round pick is available. I'm going to say Mark Williams is available. Kyle Kuzma is available. And Alice Caruso. All right, so those players are available. Don't call me asking about Devin Booker. But you know what? Mikhail Business is not available, but he definitely not, not available. <laughs> he definitely not untouchable. All right, so we just sim, and we hope that we get an opposing GM to call our phone. Um early on here or what if we just win a championship straight up mark williams for royce o'neal see the orlando magic gm what is you doing i obviously know i will do this too hold on hold on hold on i think it's important that opposing gms know that we are hmm, buying or contending we're buying i'm gonna let the post gms know we are buying so don't don't come in here like you can you can offer some trades for mark williams because he is on the block but don't think you're getting him for this we're buying what buying team is like hmm, let me trade my starting center for a first round pick no if we're gonna buy, you gotta give us some good stuff. See, this is not a trade I would do right now because I don't think that's that much of an upgrade, but like this is the type of stuff I'm talking about. Package some of our players in our draft capital. I think the best version of these trades are gonna happen before the deadline, at least I hope so, because the deadline is where uh, teams are gonna be like, hey, we're just not good enough. And because I don't know how long this challenge is gonna be, I will do scouting and stuff at least early on because we might have to draft some of these players later. And you know what? Let me go over to my staff and hire some more domestics, uh, at least two more domestic guys over here. And this is a Chico. Some of y'all don't know this, but they be having, they be taxing. They have his, his uh, salary at 250, knowing very well that he'll accept 172. Look at that. Like, look at this. Domestic scout. Boom. They talk about 234, right? Um, He will do it for 160. Why would I pay him that extra money? I know where his head is at. Um, Mikel Bridges from Malcolm Brog to James Wiseman. That's not a trade worth doing. And most of these trades probably won't be worth doing. But I'm, I got to look at them all. Seems like this team is going to be um, a playoff team, which is a dub. But maybe a lower, we're talking play in maybe, depending on how competitive this conference really is. 
maybe we can sneak it to a six seed. So obviously we need a lot of changes. We got Book though. And Book is under contract for some time. So we don't have to worry about that. We don't have to worry about losing him in free agency. So that's a huge dub. And I'm look, I'm scouting as many people as I can. Because as of right now, I'm keeping that pick. As of right now, I'm keeping that pick because nobody's offering me anything good. Trade in line is, is happening. Not, nobody offered me anything. Um, so we move. I mean, the team is good. I mean, imagine we win a champ. I wouldn't even... I, if we won this championship, I'm switching to the worst team in the league. Because what heck... What, what the heck would happen? That's the most crazy luck imaginable if we do nothing and the team still wins a championship. Tatum averages almost 40. Um, so that's... <laughs> Woo, shout out to Tatum. Six many years, uh, Chris Paul. Here are all the other stuff. Uh, we are the Brooklyn Nets, Brooklyn Nets, Brooklyn Nets. Devin Booker, 29, six and five, book. 50, 40, 90, book. Uh-oh, Alex Caruso, all defensive. We finished with the three seed. Again, I'm not trying to win a championship this season. We haven't done anything. We got, oh, getting swept is crazy too, though. I will say that, especially to a lower seed. Uh, we get Knicks versus Warriors. It's Jimmy Butler versus James Harden. And James Harden and them winning a game seven, a classic, a classic game. Oh my God, that's the all timer. Game seven, two points. Kevin, oh, Kevin Durant is on this team. James Harden won the conference finals and uh, NBA finals in peace. Interesting, because Kevin is on this roster with Anthony Simons, who in the game seven, Anthony, 27 points in a game seven, game seven NBA finals. It's uh, crazy. Shout out to him. Shout out to him. All right, so this is a very interesting offseason. Like I said, we made the playoffs and stuff. So our pick is going to be, what, 20, 20, 24, right? Is that where our pick is at? 27. Is that right? Yeah, it is right. Yep, it is right. All right. Well, we know for sure that we don't have one of the top people in the draft, but that might be okay. You know, that might be okay. I'm not tripping. I'm not tripping. We're going to go to the draft. We're going to simulate to our pick, and it's going to say, boom, X amount of teams. No team offered? All right, we're going to draft the best guy available, maybe. Uh, we got Gary Gordon here. He's a point guard, 6'2 point guard. Gary Gordon, three badges. Projects to be Damon Stoudemire, Lou Williams. Those are two very good NBA players. We'll we would take that. We got a center here who's a mid-range threat. Could be Willis Reed, uh, Bobby Jones, uh, Drew Holiday, or Dante DiVincenzo. It's a big range, but that defense is right. He's a 6'5", two guard. Now he's 23. Uh, 23 is too far gone for me personally. I don't think I can do 23 years. I can't do that. This center can shoot and get rebounds from Iowa. He's, he's got a crazy range, y'all. A crazy range. He could be West Unsale Jr. Or, or West Unsale. Not West Unsale Jr. Because he could be West Unsale or he could be Chris Dudley. He is a shooting center. I don't think I've seen this archetype because he's bad at everything else. His potential is a B minus. Am I crazy? He shot 0% from three though in college. Am I spending too much time here? Yes, but like what sense does that make? You have a great three point shooting big and coach didn't let you shoot? I kind of just want to go with the fun player. He can't pass, he can't defend the perimeter, he can't finish down low or hit a mid range jump shot. But boy, can he play post defense, rebound, and hit the three. Dion, welcome to the team, my, my boy. You are gonna be bad. I feel it in my bones, but I don't care. I do not care. All right. Okay, cool, cool, cool. That's one of the more fun players we've ever drafted, I think. And hopefully, this, our second round pick has a higher overall, by the way. Let's hope that that um, that's the right move. I mean, I don't know, but let's hope it is. All right, so I'm going to hit restricted free agency, get pressure to it back on the team. And that's kind of it. Again, we can only re-sign players. And if we don't decide to re-sign people, like if we don't re-sign Skylar Mays or Romeo Langford, we'll let 2K um, decide who they get us. But you know what? I'm not against bringing those guys back. I mean, it won't hurt, right? At least there are 74. Uneventful video so far, but it'll, it'll get better. Devin Booker's regressing, right? Alex Caruso regressed. Yep, I forgot about that. Uh, you know what? They did offer me a trade for Caruso. It wasn't a good one. I should have just accepted it because I knew that he was going to regress. That's an L on my part. My apologies. I need I need to think about stuff like that. I need to think about ages. And I got to think about the history we know of certain players. Can we get an early trade? offer please i'm kind of I, I haven't done one trade this video just yet i need something man i'm i'm fiending mark williams for terrence davis and josh akogi we might just win the we're seven and one we might just win the championship without doing a single trade i cannot believe this bro i cannot believe oh i actually to sell it a little bit i kind of want to see if our rookie can play uh so our backup center is pressing the chew i'm sorry is uh zach collins i'm gonna take some of those zach collins minutes in this guy's minutes and say Hey, Austin Rivers, you're reserved now. Our guard, Dion Carney, 
Dion, let's see your first NBA game. It's against the Knicks. We win, and it was a ugly one. Um, didn't oh James Harden left, and we clamped up Kevin. Anthony Simons is just a stud. First game of his career, 0 for 2. So, so let me look at your three-point tendency. No way you got that good of a three-point shot and your three-point tendency is that low. It's a zero. It's a literal zero. Stop. It's going up. And I ain't, he ain't got to be, I don't know, somebody that's shooting them every, all the time. Oh, it's his three-point range is only a 73. Yikes. Okay. All right. Well, at least he attempted some of them, I guess. And we're going to win games. So that's that's fun for everybody. Games being won, all of that. One thing I didn't do was, oh, it's still here. Okay, so Bridges. I just, I need some type of trades, man. I'm adding everybody. And then I'm also adding our first round pick. I need some type of trades. Please, bro, please. Ain't no way we this far in the season. I only got one trade off and that was the one you saw. That was awful. I'm actually close to accepting this. Because this is the first trade that kind of makes sense. Um, 28 year old Mikael Bridges where you at with it 16 points per game not your best season 18 points per game for Bari and he's great Reggie Jackson has scored every time he's taken the shot and Julian I'm actually accepting this trade boom first actual trade am I doing it because I wanted to see a trade happen yeah because now we got Kuzma who's gonna run our three um, who's he still he just still can't shoot I'm hoping to move Kuzma but hey, now you can't say no trades ain't happen. And look, 40% three-point shooter for Dion. He's ready. Alex Caruso has to get off my team, though. I'm sorry. Alex Caruso has to get off my team. I have to get him gone. Um, so I'm putting him on the trade block right here, right now. I'm accepting whatever next trade I get offered that has to do with Car Caruso. He's gone. He's done with. The Clippers are offering me a first-round pick for Mark Williams. I'm going to negotiate this one. I need to see where the Clippers are right now. That pick looks kind of valuable. The Clippers are sitting at a play a play-in team potentially, potentially a play-in team. If I trade their Mark Williams, no, oh my God, they'll have so many centers, and centers are the recipe to win. So I'm not gonna accept it. I thought about it for the pick. I'm gonna have to decline it, decline it, decline it. Oh, it's the Knicks this time. Oh no, 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 it was the Knicks this whole time. It's a Clippers pick from the Knicks. Okay. So it's still, still decline it, still decline it. Isaiah Joe for a first round pick. It's from the Miami Heat. Let's see if the Heat are good. They got to be at least decent because they're buying right now. Yeah. Um, I'm actually uh, Isaiah Joe. He's so good, bro. He's so good. What type of money are you expecting to get this year, Isaiah? Wait, you'll resign for ten million a year. I'm resigning for ten million. I'm saying forget that trade. That trade not good enough. I'm ten million a year is a steal, I think. So yeah, your trade is done. I mean, he's still available now, but but you're just going to have to pay a little bit more because I extended him. When I started this challenge, I knew it was going to take a long time. I knew it was going to take a long time. But we're two years in, and um, we've completed one trade, which is not ideal. Devin Booker is 28 years old. He's having phenomenal seasons, and we're struggling to put the right team around him. We're the five seed this year. We're losing the first round. Cool. Cool. I said earlier, I would be okay with being in the lottery. Well, Devin Booker just won't let us be in the lottery. Unless. No, there is no unless. Um, there is no unless. There is no unless. So, we have this year pick number 22. I think we hit last year's draft pick. You know, I saw his values were two and a half star value. That's pretty good. Let's hope a team offers us a trade for this pick. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Perfect. 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 I don't care about this pick. I don't care about this pick. I'd rather get a player. So, based on who we are as a team, based on who we are as a team, what should we be looking for? Oh, they want an extra first round pick here. I don't know if I'm, I'm cool with that. What should we be looking for? This guy is a 10th overall pick. We already have some centers that we like. Um, too many cameras is here. Nah. Dang, these trades are not very good, huh? Jared Vanderbilt, Aaron Neesmith. But they want an extra first round pick for that. Dude, these trades are bad, man. Finally, we get a, a plethora of trades to pick from, and they're all bad. I'd rather just take the pick, unless I'm using it to get this guy. Milo Saric, who can't shoot. No, I'm using the pick. I tried. Y'all saw. I was super excited for it. The projected top two projected top 10 players are here. This guy's bad, though. That's the definition of a bust. Upside says, go get Leslie Hayes. So I will. He has all NBA upside. Nobody else here really does that. So it's it's going to have to be him. And there's nothing we could do. So we go to player progression with our fingers crossed that our big man becomes one of the better big mans. At least a playable big man. Let's just hope a playable big man. 
Oh, Jabari jumps up three. We love that. Uh, plus, plus three. Plus some badges. His three-point shot. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Look out now. Look out now. Now, his defense is what I was so interested in. Um, interior defenses. Sadie, seven. Don't get a lot of blocks, but he going to protect. Oh, yeah. That's the that's a W pick. Also, our second round pick got jumped up a bunch, too. So, I think we had a W draft. Alice Caruso is still getting worse. Still just want this man off my team. All right, new strategy for your number three. New strategy for your number three. And I can't show you exactly what it is until we get a, like a month into the season or so. But you know we have trade block and all of this stuff, right? I am going to see what teams are selling or rebuilding. And I'm going to add them to my target list. So hopefully, you know what I'm saying? That I put them on the target list. They call my phone and say, hey, we see that you're interested in so-and-so. So we'll give you so-and-so because you want so-and-so. That's what my head is at. I don't know if that's going to be a, a, the right way to do it, but that's our next goal. Oh, my God. Is this a good trade? Zach Collins for Isaiah Hartenstein? Zach Collins making $18 million? Did I give him $18 million? I don't know if I gave him $18 million, but I, Isaiah Hartenstein's the better player right now, so I'm going to do that trade and not look back. I got to make sure our big fella gets minutes, though. I can't keep him out of the loop. Um, and they want to start in a zero little. Again, I'm putting Kuzma at the three for right now. And Bari's getting a lot of minutes. Book gets a lot of minutes. And then, yeah, I'm going to get these rest of these minutes to our, our young, young last year's draft picks. They're, they're both playing real minutes for us. But we did a trade. And I thought it was a really good trade. I thought it was a really good trade, personally. Another option is to look at players that are on the block and put them on my target list. And see if that works. Um, but right now, not a lot of teams are on the block. Or not a lot of players are on the block. So we can't move that way. Like Drew Holiday, the old self on the block. Sabonis is on the block. I know we got a center that we like, but Sabonis would be better. So I'm going to put Sabonis on my target list. And that's kind of it right now. And Dame. Sab Sabonis and Dame. Dame is 35. But, I, hey, he's 35 and an 85 overall. He's not even really good no more. We'll, <laughs> that lets you know how much of a struggle fest this has been for us to make stuff happen. All right, so they're both on the list now. We are sub 500, but we, it feel like the last two years we were sub 500 around this time. So that don't really mean much, but maybe it does. Maybe it doesn't. This is an interesting trade. This is an interesting trade. Kuzma is having a better year than last, but not by a lot. Actually, it's not a better year. Isaiah Hardenstein was such a good pickup right here. Oof. Aaron Gordon is 30. Kyle Kuzma is 30 as well. Aaron Gordon is only averaging 12. This is not a trade worth doing. It's interesting, but I don't think we win that. I don't think we get the, the best... I thought we got something, but we don't. Oh, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. Quickly on the team. He's having a really good season. He's only 26. We also get Derrick Jones, Gary expired contract, whatever. We get rid of Alice Caruso, finally, who's actually not having a terrible season, all things considered, but still. And then Mark Williams can go. I don't want to pay him. He's going to want a lot of money. You got, you got, you, you got yourself a deal quickly. Welcome to the team. Now... I'm going to make Book back to his natural position at a two guard. And while we're here, we might as well do the rest. Because I guess we've been running a weird lineup anyway. Who's met the three. And this is an opportunity for our little fella, our rook, or I am guess our, our second year player, to get real minutes. Um, Nazir Little, I don't really care about you getting minutes. But instead, yes, sir, Dion. Dion's having an okay season, man. Now, his shooting splits are not great, but he's better. And then our other guy, I can't even try to pronounce your name, um, better as well. So, you know, that changes things a little bit. Uh, does that make us better or worse? I don't really have the answer to that. But you know what? Now that we're in January, let's take a look around the league again. Let's take a look around the league. Claxton is on the block. Are you in the last year of your deal, Claxton? No, Claxton signed an extension. We'll we'll add him to our list. Um, wait, where do other guys go? Yeah, I ain't, I ain't telling them to take them off my list. What, what you doing? I still won't. Damien little, little old self to be on my list. All right, that's my target list again. I don't know what happened. It reset for whatever reason. But yeah, nobody else is really on the trade block right now. So, okay. We still got a, over a month or about a month left into the trade deadline. So we'll see if there's other things to be done. And I just manually made it so that we're a, a buying team. Does that mean more people are calling us? Now, we're a sub-500 buying team. Maybe somebody won our pick. It could be a lottery pick. It could be a lottery pick. Come on, man. Some somebody somebody's got all for something. I keep getting all for Mitchell Robinson. Every trade that we've seen has been for Mitchell Robinson, which is like, I don't want Mitchell Robinson. <laughs> Io and, and Ricky Council, like, come on, bro. 
we're buying and you're offering us two players that are worse than the player that we're giving up. Paolo Bencaro for Bari. Oh my God. 16 and 7, 25 and 7. What are they doing? Yes. What? Are they serious right now? Thank you. Thank you for Paolo for free. I mean, what an upgrade. What an upgrade. And they keep taking my target list down. I still, actually, I'm just going to keep some bonus. I still want some bonus. I still want some bonus on my team, bro. Stop messing around. Stop taking people off my, off my list, man. Stop taking people off my list. Come on, I need at least one more good trade off. Poku. Don't care about Poku on my team. Don't care about it. Dang. All right, well, it looks like we're going to another de deadline. Top three protected. We give them Dylan Brooks and Sean Robinson, a center who is the 11th overall pick. He can shoot it. He's only 6'9". Ooh. He's only 6'9". He can shoot it. What's your prim defense? Terrible. Dang. I was going to say 6'9". He could probably run some four, but his perimeter and defense and his... Nah, that's not worth it, right? Kuzma's at 17. They we talking 10 here. Yeah, nah, that's not worth it. Especially not giving up a pick in that. Is that the last offer we're going to get? I think it is, y'all. Dang, man. Still got... I think we got multiple, multiple years before we're a contender for real. Here we go. I mean, we're, we're kind of like speed running some of these years. Book did not make it. Oh, he did. See, Book is consistently making all NBA. And I'm not, I wouldn't be mad at him if he just opt or like say he wants out. Now, we did miss the playoffs completely this year. Could be a blessing in disguise. We're talking about a lottery pick. If we jump up in the lottery, I mean, that could change this challenge completely. So, Book, please just trust. Please just trust. Uh, we, we got your best interest at man. I promise you we do. Lottery. Here we go. We have the odds to get the 10th overall pick. Here we go, jump up. We jumped up to three! Oh, snap, it's GG's. I need a ridiculous trade offer for the third overall pick. Please tell me somebody's offering something. First overall pick goes to Rodney Lowry out of Kentucky. Then we get Grant Whitney, Whitney from LaSalle. Then we get us. Nobody offered. Are you serious? Are you serious? I mean, we got an 80 overall player right here. Um, but I kind of want this guy because he's got more badges, right? But no, forget all of that. We jump up in a draft and nobody offers us a... Oh, my God. I don't actually want to... Oh, my God. That says Kevin Durant. This says Kevin Durant. That says Kevin Durant. I am not stupid enough to pass up on a player that might be Kevin Durant. But, man, we was... Oh, I was so sure we was going to get an offer from somebody... For, for that pick. This guy has five badges at 19 years old. I'll take that guy too. I for sure thought we was about to go out and get somebody amazing. Man, man, man. All right. It's cool. It's cool. You win some, you lose some. Sometimes things don't work in your favor. Now, the only thing we can really do is go in here and re-sign Paolo Bancaro. Uh, the Bulls are trying to offer him something. Stop it. This guy wants 20. Wait, wait. Go back. Go back. Our second round pick from last or two years ago where are you at? How did I just lose you that fast? He wanted 20-something million dollars. 26? You not like that? If somebody offers you 26, they can have you. If somebody offers you 26, I swear they can have you. Because I, I bet, best believe it's not me. Best believe it's not me. You can come back to the team, but for that much money, you are not welcome here. All right, so boom, there it is. Uh, plus three for Dion, baby. This guy jumped up four. I mean, he is good. And then our last year first round pick was Leslie. He jumped up three. Ah, he, none, of, none of them is going to compare to our Kevin Durant knockoff, who is not good right now. But, but, I said it's going to be a long challenge. That might be the savior. In seven years, he might be actually Kevin Durant. Now, Kevin Durant immediately came in and was a stud. This guy's not. He's not even going to get real minutes. But, one day he might. All right? One day he might. Let's go over to trade and block. Our trade and block is still the same, by the way. You know what? Book, you're no longer untouchable. Book, you're no longer untouchable. I'm sorry. I had to do it. Um, not saying I'm gonna trade him, but we have to weigh our options. That's all. Oh my, oh my. Now Pascal is old. Pascal is old. This guy wants twenty something million dollars. Pascal signed for two million. So actually, there's a zero percent chance we keep Pascal Siakam. Literal zero percent chance. Um, we're not re-signing this guy, even though he's good. Like he's really good. They might got their point guard of the future. I'm not paying him that money. Pascal for $2 million. Welcome to the team. So, they want to put Pascal at the five. I don't love it, but I don't hate it either. Um, Dion is never going to shoot efficiently is what I'm seeing. Uh, snap. Okay. 
Um, that might have been a stupid trade. It's kind of buying in for the now. We'll see if it works. I've been trying to low-key get rid of Kuzma since we started the video. Isaac, oh, it's another situation where we won't be able to re-sign a player. Because Isaac signed for $2 million. Is that smart to trade him? We also get Isaiah Stewart in this deal, who we could bring back. Isaiah Stewart's not having a good, get a good season. And we have a bunch of fours. It's not a good deal, man. It's not a good deal. We've been trying. We've been trying our very hardest to find a world where we can... There's Larry Marketing. Ooh. Larry Marketing. Add him to the target list. Where we... Tr Ooh. Darius Garland. Add him to the target list. Like, I just... I want one of these players. Can they offer him them to me, please? I've been trying to find ways to get teams to send me good trades, and nobody's doing it. Like, we got we got Palo, we got Book, and we got Pascal. Those are three really good players. Pascal won't be here next season, so I'm trying to capitalize on this year. Because I don't know what happens after this year. So we just wait. We desperately, desperately wait for more trades to come. We just got three trade offers in a matter of a week. Make that four. We get Jaden McDaniels who is just not doing anything offensively these days. And Daniel Gafford, who also signed for a minimum. We can't do that. That's two of our our guards. We just don't have a lot of guards. We got a lot of forwards and bigs. Come on, we need a life-saving trade offer in these last four days. We need a life-saving trade offer. Come on, we almost there. Come on, please. Uh, Quinn Grimes and Lou Dort for Coos. Quinn Grimes is having a solid season. Um, Lou Dort only signed for two million so we won't be able to re-sign him and they won a 2029 top three protect the hell i'm just here to make some trades at this point i just want to see something happen so the lineup is quickly booker dort pascal and bancaro off the bench iheart quentin grimes isaiah joe oof, dion uh we need some more guard play i think it's time for leslie to finally hit that that lineup we did use a, a pick on him last year. Do we get another trade offer? Ah, we don't. This is not a championship team, man. And we invested a lot in this year's team. We got to get real lucky. Wimby wins an MVP award. So that's fun. He's taking over the league. He's got clutch player of the year, DPOY, and MVP. Like, he's in coach of the year. So the Hornets are the team to mess with. Um, Book, did you make an All-NBA team? Not this year. Which is weird, because this was our best season. And now the voters don't want to mess with Devin Booker. He's the two seed, y'all. We are the two seed. And you know what? I'm going all in. In a sense that I am making sure that our, our rotation is um, short, shorter. Lou Dort, you should probably play some, right? Yeah, you should probably play some. It is a Devin Booker show. It's Paolo Bancaro's team. Let's go, boys. Let's go. First round, we're going to get some Milwaukee Bucks. Can we somehow get out of here with just like four trades done? Anthony Black. Jalen Green, Aaron Gordon, and DeAndre Ayton's not too bad. I don't know the auto-generated guy. Game one, win. Game two, win. Game three, win. Come on. Oh, set the tone. Set the tone. Set the tone. Set the tone for this season, man. Set the tone for this season. We got Old Dame, DeJounte Murray, Jalen Brown, Jairus. Wow. Nice start at five. But we got two 90s and, and an 88. You got 190 and 188. I think we're better. And I don't know what your bench look like. Our bench might be better. Game one, we lose. On your bench, you have Killian Hayes. <laughs> I know whose bench is better. Game two is a loss. Game three, we win, please. Three won them. Uh, can we get the game seven? No. Oh, boy. All right. Well, that's the furthest we've got. That's the furthest we got. And things are going to get really, really interesting. We lost to the eventual champion. So that, that makes me feel less bad about things, I guess. 28th overall pick. Okay. Um, yeah, our team's going to be worse next year. We lost Pascal. We're going to lose Lou Dort. That's a given. We know that. Every time the center is the guy that's here, we've drafted like five centers because they're always the best player available at the end of the first round. What if we can bring back Pascal? What if we can? We can't. Dang. Uh, but what if we could? The scary thing is we're going into the last year of Devin Booker. That's what's scary. And he's old too. So old, or not old. He's older. He's not old. He's definitely not old, but he's older. And he already started to regress a little while ago. I need that Kevin Durant guy to turn into Kevin Durant right now. Uh, Devin Booker staying the same. He jumped up four. All right, we'll take that at the moment. I mean, it's better than not jumping up at all. And then uh, Dion is at this point where he's got, he's probably hit his ceiling at about 80 overall. 
He's probably the ceiling. You know, he was late in the first round. I don't know why I expected him to turn into, I don't know, Prime Brook Lopez or something. So on the trade block, Quentin Grimes. On the trade block, Isaiah Joe. On the trade block, yeah, I'm going to do it. It's going to be Dion. Yeah, it's going to be Dion. How long it takes for that first trade to come through? This is year number four, right? I think it's year number four. Hallow for Mikael Bridges. Full circle moment. Of course, we're going to say no. We had Mikael earlier. Palo for Nyeka Kongwu. All right. Well, I'm going to tell you right now how good Palo is and Devin Booker too. I don't even know why I put you up there, Book. That was so disrespectful. Because of how good they are, they're both untouchable. Ask me for almost anything else. Ask me for anything else. Uh, Isaiah Hardenstein for Vince. Nope. See, we're getting, good, we're getting a good amount, amount of trades now. Now, they're not good trades, but a good amount of trades. And I'll take that. And we're actually starting off the season not too shabby. I don't know who it is or what it is. It's probably just Devin Booker being Devin Booker. But a 10 and 1 start with this roster is pretty dope. No, it's Palo. He hit 90 overall club, and now he's acting different. And Leslie's a real player. 50, 40, 90 through the first 11 games. And 50, 50, 90 for Emmanuel quickly. Uh-oh. We might actually be better without Pascal Siakam. Whoa. Whoa. Imagine that. Spoiler alert. We lost in the second round of the playoffs. I didn't even think it was worth showing you because I went into it. Even though I was the number one seed, I never in my mind thought that we had a chance to win a championship. Isn't that crazy? We're going to go to the draft like we always do. Never mind. Nobody offered us a trade because we don't have our own first. Okay. Um, we need Kevin Durant to turn to Kevin Durant. He is our last saving grace, I guess. Uh, we did re-sign Devin Booker and, um, before the season even ended. So that's a huge dub. But that's kind of it. We need we need Trent O'Connor. It's your year, my boy. It's really, really your year to take over the starting small four spot because I don't even know who was starting that small four for us last season. Who the heck was on the roster? I don't even... <laughs> it wasn't him because obviously he only played a couple minutes. I forgot. Oh, it was Nas Little. Yeah, Nas Little started for us. Um, and we're going to bring him back because... We need to. We need to. Please, O'Connor. I need I need you 83. I need you 83, O'Connor. I need you 83. He is 83. Now, he's only got five badges, so that tells me he won't be Kevin Durant. But these top three players, that's pretty good, man. We got a lot of 80 overall players now. Even this guy, Rob Benjamin. He's kind of taking over Deion uh, Carney's spot. We got a three really good centers. Three. We got a good center rotation. Um, I think we could actually make noise now. I think we can actually make noise now. And I'm not just saying, I honestly think we have a chance. We need like one or two, just one or two okay trades. I don't, I don't need, I don't need the superstar trade no more. I don't need it because Booker is not regressing no more. O'Connor's now the starter there. Uh, I think what we do is we make Q Grimes a small forward. His overall even goes up as a four man, so, uh, 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 a three man. Like, this team is good. Like, I would prefer to have a better point guard than Emmanuel Quickly. Yes. I would prefer to have a better center than Isaiah Hardenstein. Yes. But the rest is cool. First game of O'Connor's career as a starter. Quentin Grimes for Sadiq Bay in the first. No, we just extended Quentin Grimes. But we got to trade the first day of the season, which is interesting. Um, that's very interesting. I hope that means that we get trades very often. If we could trade very often, I think this could be our year. I honestly think this could be the year. Book is great. Palo is great. O'Connor's really good. This could be our year. I hope so. It's so crazy because when we do the accepting every trade videos, we get so many more deals, like trade offers, than we get in this video. It makes no sense. It makes no sense. I thought we were going to get 30 trade offers a, vid uh, a year. We're nowhere near that. We get it like well, now it's a little bit better, but let's say seven a year. This is a huge leap right now. This is a huge leap. Keegan Murray and a first round pick. Dion, you're finally shooting efficiently, and that's why people want you. We have so many centers on the roster with Hardenstein, and then we also got Rob Benjamin here. I think it's time. Uh, Dion, I swear I don't want to do it, but like Keegan is ridiculous. So trade accepted now we do not have a point guard here's my mindset book goes back to the one i don't know how i want to do this uh keegan's overall only dropped by one if you make him a two man <laughs> i it's he's like it's like when you get an a, a idea or you get an offer when you get somebody in that talented you just gotta rock with it booker murray um our guy o'connor who's having a phenomenal phenomenal season bancaro and then Rob Benjamin started now. Um, so shout out to him. 
he, I guess he's taking the spot away from Isaiah Hardenstein. That's why I Hard is upset. But he's look at his splits. Like you're you're not shooting it well. Okay. All right. I like the trade. I like the trade. This is a championship quality team, I believe. Now, we are not playing phenomenal basketball at this moment in time. Actually, we're on a five-game losing streak before that trade. So we needed something to shake us up. Um, I'm gonna say no to this, even though Isaiah Hardenstein is upset. I'm hoping that we get another trade offer for him. One more, one more trade, one more trade. Benjamin C. No, dang. And that's the deadline. All right, we're running in with this lineup. I think we can compete for it. I honestly believe we could compete for a championship, even though our center core is 270 or 280 overall centers. We got wings, we got shooters, we got um, one of the best players in the league at a 95 overall. Like, this is our best chance. We need it to happen. I've been here for a very long time. I knew it was going to be a long video, so I'm not complaining. I knew it was going to be a long video. Um, but we need it to happen right now. This is the best chance we have. We finish as the two seed again. I believe that we go in. We shorten our rotation. Precious Achua. I mean, you've had a really good season. Your per 36 is ridiculous, Precious. Shout out to you. Benjamin's per 36 are good too, but they got Isaiah Hardenstein starting. They got Isaiah Joe starting at the two. I don't really love that, so I'm going to take your minutes down a little bit, give it back. Up top, we want Booker playing 40. We want Paolo playing 40. We want our, our guy uh, uh, Keegan to play 30. And here we go. Here we go. This is the best chance we got. Philadelphia 76ers first round. They have Tatum and Bam. That's a really good front court, but the rest is kind of mid. So I'm hoping we can hold our own. Game one is a win. Game two is a win. Game three is a win. Shout out to them for helping us get to the second round. We get Milwaukee Bucks next. Milwaukee has Jalen Green and Gigi Jackson. DeAndre. Okay, it's a solid lineup. Our team looks so much better, though. I cannot lie. Game one, win. Game two, win. Game three, win. Oh, my God. Sweeping. Ah, oh, not sweeping the conference. But we do get to the conference finals to go against Wimby. And they running Wimby and Bo Bo together. With Josh Giddy and Kay Cunningham at the backcourt. Tallest lineup. I don't really know how tall Derek Whitehead is. I haven't seen him play NBA minutes just yet. But what a lineup. What a tall, tall task. <laughs> Wimby's a 98 overall, by the way. Game one, we win. Yes. Yes. Come on, book. Come on. Game two, we lose. Okay, we still have home court advantage off them. Game three, we lose again. Derek Whitehead? Man, what a, what a year he's having. He went his first three years of his career not even playing, and then he jumped up to 13. We got to shorten the rotation even more, I believe. Um, let's shorten it to eight. They want to put Grimes in for O'Connor. O'Connor's having such a good series or a good playoff push. But Gr Grimes, you know what? I trust. I trust it. If you going to put up those kind of numbers, brother. I, I mean, those shooter splits are crazy right now. So we'll take that. I'm going to give Book all of the minutes. Book, we need you to be Devin Booker. Our, our, our center core is not good to go against Wimby in Bobo. Like, come on. This regarded Wimby with Isaiah Hardenstein? Game three, we win. Yes. Thank you, Paolo. Thank you, Paolo. Underrated champion or, or, or high important guy, I guess. Booker did not have an amazing night. Eight turnovers. Game five is a critical one. We win it. We win game five by 20. Book recovery, zero turnovers in this one. Palo, take us to the promised land. It's your team. It's your team, Palo. You're going against Charles Charles Miller and the OKC Thunder, who have him. They have Bari, who's a 90 now. So him and Palo, we made that trade. They both ended up 90-91. They have Porzingis, who's still a 90. Asar Thompson, who's an 88. Wow. This team is really, really good. I don't know what y'all bench look like, but I understand why y'all the one seed. Game one is a Nets win. Palo, bro, take us home, Palo. Take us home. Or is it Palo again? Oh, Palo with a 37-point tri triple-double in game two of the NBA Finals. Game three is a win, too. Palo with a 30-20 game. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He's only 26. Palo, 3-0 series lead. Man, Mr. Ben Caro, you just saved the whole video. And, and uh, Keegan Murray had 41 in the closeout. Wow. It took, I don't even know what year we in. We are in the year, I don't even know. Steph Curry's 41 years old. That lets you know how long we've been simulating. Last thing I want to do before we get out of here is I'm actually just curious. I'm going to put all of this on automatic. I just want to see what O'Connor's overall is next season. 
Again, they said he could turn into Kevin Durant. And though we didn't see him turn to KD, he was really important on that championship run right there. So I just want to see what his overall is going to go up to. And then our two and a half hour film session is over. Yeah, big, big facts, big facts. I enjoyed this video. Hopefully you did too. Plant progression. Yeah. Wow. We have repeat potential, I think. We have repeat potential. Now, he's only got 10 badges. He's only got 10 badges. So he's definitely not going to turn into Kevin Durant. But boy, I mean, he's a... <laughs> hey, if you enjoyed the video, leave it a like. Subscribe to the channel and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Peace.